OSCAR is a collision avoidance system. There are two parts in it, a mast module and a processing module. So this camera module is installed on top of the mast and it has two thermal cameras, one daylight camera and a gyro sensor. So what it does is that it takes the images, stabilizes them and then sends them to the processing unit here that is in the boat. Here the image is analyzed and the objects that are on the water are then detected. Uh, the position is calculated and if there is a collision risk then an alarm will be triggered. Additionally for um, racing boats we have it uh, coupled to the autopilot so that they can have automated evasion uh, in case of a risk. For, especially for cruising we have then an app that runs on the MFD or on a tablet, on a uh, phone and so on. So it has uh, different screens. Uh, three main screens. One is a daylight camera where you have less augmented reality, so the, the image is stabilized. And then you have the detection of the of the different objects. You have the same with the thermal camera. So here it's it's one image made out of two cameras, so that we get higher field of view. The field of view for thermal is 50 degrees and, and daylight is 120 degrees. And then this, these objects are put on a radar-like map and uh, this is also where you can see some data about the objects that are here and the alarm in case of a risk. Well, uh, uh, a few years ago I got sailing with, with my father on, a, on an Athena 38 uh, catamaran and we were sailing from France to Cap Verde and uh, during the trip, it was in, in November, and we went along the coast of, of Spain, just two of us, and uh, traveling for several days, and it was really, really cold. And during the night watch, where I was looking basically at nothing in front of me, I thought that there must be something that makes it more comfortable, where I basically, when I look at something that is useful and not just looking at darkness. Yeah? So I tried to find something, an available product uh, that would help me in this task and since I found nothing, I, I decided as, as an engineer to, to just do it myself. Today we, we are about 25 people working on, on Olska, but at the beginning, uh, in, I would say in 2017, when I had the first, the first prototype, I went to the ocean sailing teams together with Armel Leclerc, François Gabard, Vincent Rieu and Jean Le Camp, we set the first requirements for a system that helps the, the skippers to sail safer around the world. Oscar uses machine learning algorithms based on statistical uh, methods that mimic what a uh, human can achieve. So the AI is basically looking at the water surface and is able to detect objects. So this AI needs a big database where it gets trained and this database is provided by these leading racing teams. And so one particularity of, of AI system is that they get better over time with increasing experience. Yes, the system uh, works at anchor, makes no, no difference for the system if the boat is moving or not. So everything, every object that is in collision course with the system will trigger an alarm. I came across Oscar last summer when I worked uh, on brand new 70-foot uh, cruiser racer, Chin Chin. The technician came on board to get it running and uh, so I haven't heard about Oscar before, I started asking him questions. It turned out that uh, the technician was no one else than uh, Rafael Biancale, the CTO and founder of Oscar. Uh, we started talking about this incredible invention and I uh, quickly realized that uh, it will have a huge potential in expedition sailing. As uh, Oscar has been just entering the market, I uh, offered my support in introducing it into the expedition sailing. I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it. Let me outline in which situations Oscar would be a fantastic asset to have on board. Radar has a lot of limitations, particularly in the rough sea states 
where uh, small growlers will never be detected. I remember the situation when uh, we were approaching Greenland uh, in uh, early March. It was pretty rough weather, 35, 40 knots of wind, 4 meter wave. And uh, the night was dark because of the cloud cover. It was occasionally snowing. The temperature outside was minus 15 degrees. And uh, it was pretty stressful night watch because radar wouldn't pick up any small ice. And we've seen big icebergs just a few hours back. So we knew the ice was there. I'm 100% positive that I would have felt much more comfortable having Oscar on board, keeping a constant lookout at the moment where my eyes couldn't see that much. You've probably seen uh, many pictures with people climbing uh, to the top of the mast to, to try to find a way through the ice. Sometimes it's not easy at all to find the path. Wherever you look, you just see the white wall and no water. Naturally, the view from top of the mast is uh, much better. You can see much farther and spot uh, a little piece and pieces of water to sail through. But why would you want to send your crew up the rig for hours in the freezing conditions if you can have a thermal camera that is uh, spotting perfectly the difference between water and ice? And on top of that, the system can pan 50 degrees left and right uh, to give you a better angle of view. Once up in the north of Norway, I spent one month with uh, free divers that wanted to have a close encounters with killer waves. But days up there are super short and at winter uh, the weather can get very windy and snowy. As we had only three hours of daylight, it was extremely important to be at the spot before the sunrise. We had the night vision binoculars and one of us would try to spot killer waves in the total darkness. But it wasn't easy. With Oscar, we would have been so much more efficient, knowing not only the direction, but also the distance. And once again, a constant lookout will be always much more effective than a single person sitting in the cold, in the darkness, outside, you know, in the, in the middle of the night. Thermal cameras have already been helping a lot saving life at sea, but connecting this technology to artificial intelligence is the way forward. When you go at sea, you always prepare as well as you can with all the resources that we have available. And whenever it's possible, we try our best to make the boat safer and, and more prepared for emergency situations. The more you sail, and particularly the more north you go, the less you can compromise your safety.